Hi everybody, it's Lisa. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I am. It's a sunny, beautiful day down here in South Georgia. And I'm about ready to start making my lunch, but I've missed buns. And um, there are plenty of recipes for what they call chaffles, but it's usually a combination of cheese and um, eggs and some other stuff that you can mix up. Well, you've heard me talk about my dairy sensitivity. And by the way, if you have a dairy sensitivity or allergy, would you please put dairy sensitivity or allergy in the comments? Hi, please let me know if you're replaying and where from and if you are live, where you're from. And please leave me a comment because you know how much I love loneliness in the kitchen. But anyway, um, so what we're going to do here is make a dairy-free chaffle. Thank you to the awesome Shauna Rankin Lewis who sent me this recipe. Okay, so first off is an egg. Oh shoot, I meant to put that in the, I'll edit it later. Well anyway, it's really easy to remember. It's one egg. And let's see, a teaspoon. Well, actually you will want to mix that up some. So just kind of get it all incorporated before you go add everything else. Um... That's pretty much what a chaffle recipe is. Let's see, a tablespoon of water. Well, let's add that a little more level. So what are you all up to on this fine spring day? Let's see, mayonnaise. So you use mayonnaise um, rather instead of, Hi, William. Where are you watching from? Okay. So, um, you use mayonnaise in place of the cheese to kind of hold it together along with the egg. Um, and there's some dessert chaffles and things like that, but most of them include cheese, which is not as much fun as you might think when you can't have it or shouldn't have it. I can eat it. It just gives me a really sore throat because of the runny nose, so... I try to avoid extremely sore throats, and I think I'm going to get rid of this squeeze bottle for the mayonnaise. Um, you can also, I, I also use dairy-free mayonnaise. This and it's Duke's. Um, so anyway, as I was saying, we are having a great day down here. Um, getting ready to start a weight loss challenge with the company and I think I found a coach. Hello, hello Heather, how are you? Um, so that's good news. My friend Angela has decided to probably do that and she's a wonderful coach so I'm looking forward to that. Um, and and, and I've, I've worked off some pounds but sometimes they creep back on a little bit. So I'm going to work on that. It's just come to me lately and I'm ready for a change in a couple of different ways. So weight's going to be one and business is going to be the other. So it's time to soar. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. We've got the egg, the water, the mayo, and then we're going to do one to three tablespoons of almond flour. I did this the other day and I used two and that seemed to work out just fine. So that's what I'm going to stick with. You can just figure out for yourself, you know, what you like. And this is going to make um, two chaffles. So, it will give you enough for the full bun. If you have two people, then just go ahead and double the recipe. Or whatever you decide to do. Okay, so you're going to well incorporate this. And it's going to come out a little bit yellow, which is fine. I, you know, who cares? It's just a color. Um... And then this is hot. And yes, I got the snowflake one because you know what? It was on sale and I decided to get a good deal. Probably ought to use, well, I usually scoop about three tablespoons worth, possibly four. It just depends on what it's looking like. And yeah, I think we'll go for that fourth one. All right. So then we're just going to give that a shot. Now you can use this for many things. Um, tuna. Uh, you could use it for peanut butter and jelly. I Or not the jelly, excuse me, unless you've got the low sugar, um, low carb. 
Um, but, um, and I like to use it for a burger bun. So whatever your, your fancy is, there's something dairy free for you. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, if you need information about low carb, keto, um, supplements, things that maybe, um, we've been talking about, let's see, I think my last video, we did on like Crohn's mm -hmm. and, and tummy diseases and things like that to kind of make you get healthier. Send me a comment, PM, please PM me. Um, sometimes I miss those tags and stuff because it gets lost in the feed. Um, but I will get back to you if I see it. And if for some reason you, I rudely don't get back to you, just hit me up again. It happens sometimes, guys. It really does. But um, I want to help as many people to get healthy as they can. This is part of it. Uh, um, supplementation is all part of it. Exercise is all part. We got to get all our parts in order, guys. Have a... Oh, you know what? Maybe we'll stay on long enough just to see this thing cook. You you wait until um, the steam is gone, is what I usually do. And let's see. Did I not put... Yeah, my trademark. I have to forget one thing. Hold on. Okay, I forgot the plate to put it on so that you guys can see um, that we have to put it on. And you'll see what it looks like finished. It really doesn't take long at all. And thank you again, Shauna Lewis, for sending me this. Um, it's, it, it's actually going to make a great addition to my recipe file for low carb. And being able to have buns. Yay! So how many other people have missed breads and buns being on low carb? Anybody? Who's on low carb? Keto or low carb? Either one. Put it in the comments. Okay. If you're shy, it's okay. I used to be shy at one point, too. Um, so um, while we're waiting on this... Well, we're not, really. This is... See, it looks like this. Okay, so I am going to grab this with a fork, I think. It will be fine. Just be careful you don't scrape the... Uh... Okay, so yes, it does come out with a snowflake. Who cares? It actually works for a lot of things. And then you're just going to pour the rest of it in as, as you would normally. Get all of it out. I love these scrapers. They really do make it easier to cook. Okay, so we're just going to do this for this one. And it'll... Now this uh, particular waffle iron does not have a temperature setting. You just plug it in and it goes. So you just kind of have to keep an eye on it. Wait till it stops steaming. And you can do things like that. Okay, if you also need um, recipe groups for chaffles, just let me know and I will help you with that. Hello, Rianne, how are you? Hi, Blake, how are you doing today? There we go. Get that back. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're just going to cook that up like before. You've seen how it is. I'm going to get ready to have my lunch, y'all. Um, if like I said, just get back to me with any issues, PM. I will get back to you as quickly as I can. I'd love hearing from you. Have a super, super Thursday, you guys. Bye-bye.